the next big project in my plate is to live off the Earth for six months, to uh, launch on a Russian rocket ship, to spend six months docked with the International Space Station, to actually command a spaceship, which is uh, incredible for me to even say out loud. And you'll be the first Canadian to do so. Okay? First Canadian to command a spaceship, to command the International Space Station, and then return to Earth on board a Soyuz. Six months. So we launch when we're on one side of the sun, and we go halfway around the sun while we're uh, in orbit around the Earth. Watch the seasons go from winter in the north to uh, winter in the south. Watch the whole world evolve like that. Uh, a tremendous thing to be part of. Uh, I watched inspirational movies when I was a kid, 2001, where you launch in a reusable spaceship and you dock with a space station that's under construction and all kinds of, and that's what I'm doing as an adult. And, uh, but I have to keep it all in check because it's still far enough away that all sorts of random events that I have no control over uh, could keep it from happening. So all I do is, is like I've been doing my whole life, I just keep preparing, keep getting myself readier and readier so that if, the, and the op, my odds are better than most Canadians of commanding a spaceship right now, but they're still not perfect. So I don't worry about that part. I just keep getting myself readier and readier um, so that on the morning, or whatever it is, on November 30th, 2012, the rocket ship will be out in the pad. I'll be wearing the pressure suit, walk out, take the salute, and get on board. And that'll be a time to get excited and to let that particular phase of adventure begin. Hi, I'm Canadian astronaut Chris Hadfield, and I'm chasing Atlantis.